Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to run a test case in Microsoft Test Manager 2013 Professional. Before you can run test case in Microsoft Test Manager, the test case plan needs to be in place. Let's say that you have the test plan in place and you're ready to run your test and explore different option of running a test case. This video is going to help you. So we're going to go in the server where I have installed the uh, Microsoft Test Manager. So we're going to fire up that. Here's my Microsoft Test Manager. We're going to go ahead and run as admin. And if you're already connected with Team Foundation Server and your team project is going to open up basically your plan first. The plan contains one requirement right here as it shows right here requirement based suite so we're gonna uh, this requirement particular requirement has three test cases so we're gonna pick one test case and run in this demo but um, you can uh, um, you can just uh, go ahead and add more plans if uh, uh, test case plans um, here if you would like to do that but what we're gonna do is in order to run this particular test we're gonna click on test tab right here we're done with the planning tab we're gonna go ahead and click with test as soon as you will click on test tab different options will appear for you and right here is the first option that you wanted to run all the active tasks in this particular suite or you wanted to run one task as a, at a time in in this demo we're going to run one task at a time so we're gonna go ahead and pick one task and as soon as you highlight that highlight that particular task you're gonna go ahead and click on run you have two options when you're running the task one is just go ahead and run it run the task and other is run with options up here if you do that run with options you if you have a complex uh, test uh, case plan and you you have a lot of test cases then you can go ahead and run some of the failed test cases or some some of the cases with the special case uh, test cases that you can rerun those so we're gonna go ahead and use the first option click on run as soon as you will click on run the Microsoft uh, test runner will appear and uh, this runner does couple things one one it'll let you start your uh, 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 test case uh, and as soon as you click on your start test it'll bring up all the uh, steps that you have uh, you you're supposed to take in order to uh, in order to complete that test case so and the second thing is that it actually basically back behind the scene collects rich data that you can use later on in your analysis after you finish with the test so we're gonna go ahead and click on create action recording that means that we're we wanted to record the whole action so we're gonna go ahead and click on create action recording and click on start test as you notice that it brought all the steps in our particular uh, test case so we're gonna go through each step and based on our results we can mark that that test pass or fail there are a few other options that I'm going to tell you right here if you look at this little icon is camera and if you click on this little arrow a couple things uh, appear here one is capture the rectangle screenshot if you wanted to um, capture a particular part of a screen you should actually um, select this option and if you wanted to um, capture the entire screen of your um, uh, testing then it's going to be this uh, option so we're gonna go ahead and um, our first step is click file click I'm going to do different steps this is just for the demo purposes I put on there so let's say that my my first step is that uh, open up uh, Internet Explorer so we're gonna go ahead and open up Internet Explorer here's my Internet Explorer and the second step is uh, go to the Gmail or go to the login page all right click on sign in that would be the third step let's say so our fourth step is sign in and see if it works for us so first step we saw that it passed I'm gonna click on pass second passed third is passed as well and now we are at the step where we need to log in so we're gonna go ahead and log into Gmail and we're gonna put a password right here and click sign in 
as you can see the sign in actually failed you might want to put a password another time uh, one more time maybe because uh, you might have put the password uh, wrong the first time so let's say that you did that and it's still failing what we can do we have a couple options here first of all this test part is failed so we're gonna go ahead and mark as fail and the second thing right here is we're gonna go ahead and capture the screen so that it will help uh, it'll go back to the developers and help them to um, actually fix it so we're gonna go ahead and capture the rectangle screenshot so we're gonna go ahead and do this and it'll add to that particular step and we're gonna go ahead and do it one more time with the full screenshot so that they will look at the full page and that page will contain everything from login to to um, everything that appears on that page so we're gonna this is our um, hold on let me do this full screenshot so okay so we got the full screenshot as well so up here if you uh, look at it if you wanted to actually save these screenshots somewhere else um, on the shared drive or wherever you wanted to do that or you wanted to um, uh, put it on your particular folder you could do that so we're done up here it, we, once we're done with all the steps we're gonna go ahead and click end test is collecting all the information every information is collected at this moment and we're gonna go ahead and play if we hit the play it's gonna play our recording that recording is saved uh, on our shared drive as well so we're gonna send that recording to the developers as well that if we have taken the steps if we have missed the steps or something like that after that once we're done we're gonna go ahead and click save and close all right we're back to our um, uh, uh, testing these are uh, two failed uh, tests versus uh, um, first first in first demo I did the click to view the source code and the second is uh, uh, the first is click on the link and the second is click on the view so we're, if we wanted to uh, actually look at the view the results we need to highlight that particular task and click on the per particular case and click on the view results and all these these screenshots are here there are a lot more options right here that you can explore and use once you're done if you wanted to edit that once you're done you can close that and you can send this you can also uh, create this as a new bug which I'll cover in my next video and uh, send it back to the developers so this is how once your uh, test planning is done once the plan is done and you wanted to go ahead and run that uh, test case you click on test and you run that and use different different options that I showed you there are a lot more options you can go ahead and explore on your own and I hope this video helps